All right, guys, on today's episode, we're going to be going over coupling and uncoupling your tractor and your trailer. The very first thing that we're going to do is we're going to walk on over to the rear wheels and confirm that both of our wheels are chalked. The next thing we're going to do is confirm that our vehicle is in neutral and both of our brakes are applied. And then turn over to the examiner and let him know that our vehicle is safe and secure. Now we have to lower the landing legs. Confirm that your ground is hard and level. Get down on your knees, confirm both sides are hard and level. Grab your lever, pull it into the high gear. Start lowering your landing legs. Once you get to this point, just push the lever in a tiny bit into the low gear and just give it a few revolutions. My lever is safe and secure. And confirm both of my legs are grounded properly. Now, remove all of your lines. All of my lines are safe and secure. Some places will allow you to use bungee cords, but then a lot of places will have you put all of your lines in these glad hand holders. The next thing you wanna do Open your cab. Apply your hazards or your four-way flashers. And grab your lever pulling tool. Now what you're going to do is you're gonna pull on this lever as hard as you can. And you always wanna use the wheel or the rim and give it a quick tug put this back inside the cab now you're going to get underneath and have another look your adjustable fastener which is just that little bolt on the left hand side is in the open position my lever is in the open position now you're going to get underneath now you're going to confirm that the jaws are also in the open position Now you're gonna move your tractor forward, but not all, all the way out. You're just going to move it forward until the fifth wheel disengages from the trailer. Release your tractor brake. Put your vehicle in drive or first gear and just move forward. Have a quick look on the sides or if you're lucky enough, have a quick look on the back window here. 
vehicle in neutral, apply your brakes, turn your vehicle off. Now when you come outside, you're going to confirm a few things. My trailer is not touching my tractor frame. My trailer weight is all supported by the landing legs. Give it a quick little tug. Before you move forward, you need to pay close attention to what the examiner would have told you. Some examiners will tell you beforehand where they want you to move your tractor. Sometimes they'll tell you right there and then I want you to put the tractor right over here. 99% well, of the time they're going to tell you, I just want you to bring the tractor out and place it at 90 degrees. All right, now that you get to the back, the back portion here, we're going to begin by inspecting all of our lines. Pull your lines out of your secure location, whether it be a bungee cord or our holders over here. First thing you're going to inspect is your tractor protection valve. My tractor protection valve, no cracks, no damages. It's mounted securely to the tractor frame. My airlines, airlines, no cracks, no damages, no cuts, no tears. They're supported by the help of springs. The springs have no cracks or any damages in them. My glad hands, no cracks, no damages, no cuts, no tears. My glad hand rubbers, no cuts, no tears, no cracks, no damages, and there's no bends. Go ahead and secure these guys. The next thing you're gonna inspect is your electrical line. My electrical line is connected properly to the tractor body. No cracks, no damages, no cuts, no tears. My electric line shoe, no cracks, no damages, no cuts, no tears. And you're going to inspect the holes over here. The holes have no visible protrusions or any blockages, no rust, no dust, no ice, no snow. If there is any blockages, go ahead and blow it out at this point. Secure both of these back under your bungee cord. The next thing you're going to inspect is our adjustable fastener and your lever. My adjustable fastener, no cracks, no damages. My lever, no cracks, no damages, uh, and it's not bent. My fifth wheel, no cracks, no damages, and it's fully greased, and it moves up and down. My pivot pin, my chain, and my coupler, no cracks, no damages. My pivot pin fastener, my chain fastener, and my coupler fasteners, all of them are tight and secure. No loose and none of them are missing. When you're gonna be doing your test, you wanna make sure that you touch each and into each individual one of them. You're going to come to the back here, confirm that your four ways are flashing and that your jaws are currently in the open position, no cracks, no damages. Walk on over to this side. Your fifth wheel, no crack, no damages. Your pivot pin, no crack, no damages. Your chain and your coupler, no crack, no damages. Your pivot pin fastener, your chain fastener, and your coupler fasteners, none of them are loose or missing. All of them are tight and secure, and again, no cracks or any damages. You're gonna have a look underneath the fifth wheel. Confirm that all of your springs are there. All of my springs are there. None of them are loose or missing or cracked or damaged. Have a quick look up in the sky. My way to my trailer is clear. Turn your tractor on, start it. Now, before you even put it into your reverse gear, honk your horn twice. Put it into your reverse gear, release your brake.
Now what you're going to do is inspect your coupler. My adjustable fastener is in the unlock position and my lever is in the unlock position. Inspect all of your air lines and your electric line. My glide hand holders, no cracks, no damages. My glide hand rubbers, no cracks, no damages, no bends. My air lines, no cracks, no damages, and they're properly mounted to my, my trailer body. My electrical connector, no cracks, no damages, no bends in my pins. And that is also all the wiring, no crack, no damages, and it is also connected to my trailer body properly. What you need to also confirm is that your tractor height or your trailer height is set accordingly. Now, my trailer is set to my tractor body or my tractor is set to my trailer. Now we go underneath. My upper coupler plate, no cracks, no damages, and it's fully greased. My kingpin, no cracks, no damages, and it's fully greased. My jaws are currently in the open position and they're in line with my kingpin. Or if it's not in line, you can also say that they're in the adjustable position. You could say my kingpin is in the adjustable position. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to couple the tractor to the trailer and perform a tug test. Put it in reverse. Honk your horn, reverse. Put it into drive or first gear, confirm. Tug test one, successful, and tug test two, successful. You don't need to give it too much gas. You just need to make confirm that when you're tugging your trailer and the jaws are fully locked. Now you're gonna step outside and you're gonna confirm a few things. You're gonna step back down, confirm, that your adjustable fastener is in the lock position, your lever is in the lock position, and there's no space between the upper coupler plate and the fifth wheel. You're gonna go underneath. You're gonna confirm that the jaws are locked around the kingpin and that there's no space between the upper coupler plate and the fifth wheel. Gonna begin by connecting your lines. And you do them in order by furthest to closest. So, use both your hands, connect them up. My lines are connected. Hop on over to my four-way flasher. My electrical connection is good. Confirm by looking at the other side that you do notice that the light is flashing. That your four-ways are flashing. Now we're going to raise our landing legs. Secure your handle. Confirm that both of your legs are in the up position. Now I'm gonna begin by supplying air 
to my trailer and checking for any audible leaks. So what you're going to do is turn your tractor on, turn off any audible distractions like your four-way flasher, your heating control, any music, turn that all the way off. You're going to confirm your air pressure. My air pressure is at 100 PSI, which is good. It's within the normal operating range of 80 to 145 PSI. We're now going to supply the trailer with air. And now when you supply it, you want to press the trailer air supply, which is this one, the red one. Push it down. Confirm that your gauges are stable. Now turn your tractor off and turn it into the on position, but do not start it. And now you wanna also confirm again, once again, that your gauges are still stable. You wanna stick your head out and listen for any air leaks. Have a quick look inside, your gauges are still stable. Stick your head out. Again, confirm that you don't hear any audible air leaks and my gauges are still stable. Now we're going to inspect our service line. Our service line is inspected very similarly, but you're going to depress the brake pedal. Depress the brake pedal. My gauges are reading 90 PSI, which is good, still within operating range of 80 to 145 PSI. Again, stick your head out, listen for any audible air leaks. Again, my gauges are still stable. Stick your head out, listen for any audible air leaks. My gauges are still stable. Which means that my service line is also good. Pull your foot off of the service line. Now, secure your vehicle. Confirm that you hear that rear exhaust noise and tell your, your examiner that this completes my coupling and my uncoupling.